Hello and welcome to another macro video. Today we've got uh, some new macros which provide a facility which you might call multiple clipboard. And this is a feature which has been introduced in Word 2019, I gather. Uh, if you copy a, a number of different pieces of text just using the normal control C, then those bits of uh, text can be used again later. What happens is that you get a panel, a drop-down panel. I haven't got, I'm working on 2010, so I haven't got one. So um, imagine this is the uh, panel, the drop-down panel. So um, th it shows something about what it is you've copied there. And then if you, you click somewhere in the text and you uh, click on one of these items in the panel, and that item in the panel then is pasted in where you put the cursor in your document. Okay, so that's the, the system that's available on 2019. Um, someone said, could I do something similar for um, 2010 or earlier? Um, yes, uh, but having done it, um, I realized that uh, with my macros, uh, they're available on any version of Word, which was what was uh, asked for, but they're operated by keystrokes because they're macros. And actually I prefer that to be able to, rather than having to click on an item in uh, a menu uh, for speed, I like to be able to do things from macros. Okay, so the macros I've generated, uh, the two main ones are Clip Store and Clip Paste. And the idea there is that you select a bit of text and you run clip store and you see something flashing uh, what's happened is that uh, the macro has noticed that there is n no file up at the moment uh, with the name document something or other so it's now created a new uh, document and it's put into that document the uh, hash one for the uh, first item in the clipboard list and it's copied in the text that I had selected on this one here. So if I do an, another one over here uh, and run it again, you can see it puts it in there. Uh, it can be single words or groups of words or um, a, you know an area of text or whatever you like. Um, and what happens is that as you keep going with this, um, so try operated, um, and say, um, oh, I don't know, my macros. Now we've got to six. What happens now? If I do another one, uh, then uh, it's it's stored six items, and then it's gone back round to number one and put number one down at the bottom. And as you see, it's deleted the original number one. You can have as many or as few items in there as you like. Uh, in the macro itself, at the beginning of the macro, where are we? Uh, that's clip paste, clip store. You've got max clips equals six, so that's what I'm working on. And the label hash is the label I, I'm using there at the top. If you happen for some reason or other to have to copy and paste bits of text that have got hashes in them, it will go sadly wrong. So you could use something like the vertical bar or the dollar sign or some other uh, item in there, but that's a bit obscure. Okay, so that's in clip store, and you have to do the same at the beginning of clip paste. Uh, you have to say that the maximum number of clips in there is the same as it was in the other. You can have 6, 10, 20, wh whatever, you know, just whatever you'd like to do. Okay, so we've got the various items there. So then when we come to uh, pasting, we can say, uh, well, let's just have a, a, another couple. So let's just put that one in and... Let's have that one as well. Um, okay, so if we want to use those clips, then we say, okay, I want a, a, something in here, and I can run clip paste. And that now asks me which number I'm looking for. So I want a number six, please. So I put that goes in there. Uh, and then in here, um, I want a number one, please. Okay, and that one did not have a carriage return at the end. Whereas this one here, a number two, so if I put a number two in there, uh, where are we? Uh, run that, uh, number two, and it gives me an, a carriage return. Um, 
that's basically it but then I thought that it might be useful to be able to do it more quickly in certain uh, circumstances so what I did was to create uh, clip paste one uh, and you can do clip paste two three and four or whatever so if we have a look uh, that's clip paste clip paste one says my clip equals one so that's um, that macro is going to produce clip number one and it will only produce clip number one uh, clip paste two is clip two clip paste three produces clip three the point about that is then you can do it that much more quickly you can say I want a clip one and a clip two and a clip three so three two one one two three it's just one keystroke which will give you the contents of whatever is in number one number two number three or whatever so in certain circumstances that uh, might be useful well, I hope that's useful. Any queries? Give me a shout.